Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can see, we don't have a portal gun, so let's check out Unstable Q by RoboSK, part of the Portal Gun on-off concept series. Requested by Quentin. System created by Toolby, beta testing and consultation by Toolby. Have fun with this concept on-off portal gun. Do you want more of this concept? It depends only on your response. If you like it, leave a comment and you can look forward to my next map. Alright, let's get started, shall we? I am quite a fan of the portal gun on-off concept, but the last map we played, uh, most people agreed in the comments that it wasn't really used properly. So let's see if we can get it to be used properly in this map. Hmm. Alright, so, let's lock the portal here for now. Wow, this is quite expansive. Ha! <laughs> Probably... specifically designed... for clever geometry, I would assume. Wait, I don't need a portal in there, right? Yeah, I don't know why I put a- I think this is mainly to get you to see how the button works and all that. What is this for? Why would I ever put a ball here or anything? I think it's just so that you can learn how this button works and how you, the portals that you don't own don't get fizzled. Because we take ownership of the portals and then we give up ownership of the portals and then we take ownership of the portals and then we give up ownership of the portals. That's how it works. You need an edge of the safety cube for a door in the floor. What is that? Is that a... I think I've seen these... in rare occasions? It's like a bomb or something? Oh. Uh, I see now what we need to do. So let's see, that lines up right with the Fizzler. There we go, that's why... That's why this is all here. It has a purpose. Right, and then... Shoot a portal there, I assume. Yep, and that gets us a laser cube. Excellent. Right, so. What do we want to do with said laser cube? Expose. I suppose we should start... How would we get an edge of the safety cube, though? We can't put these cubes on these buttons, we need- we would need an orange button to be able to have a cube activate portals for us. Yeah, like that one down there. That's one that you can put a cube on the button and it'll keep portals active for you. Oh, and the exit's right below us! Interesting. Oh, no, really, where am I supposed to be going right now? Let me move my green portal just so that I don't accidentally respawn the cube that I worked so hard to get. Put it there. Yeah, that doesn't really help much. Because I need an edgeless safety cube that I don't have. I don't know how to get in here at all. Like, I can shoot a portal in there. I suppose. Yeah, I suppose that's what I need to do, actually, is just portal in there. So let's go see what this thing is. Pick it up, it doesn't reset. Yeah, it is a bomb. What would we use a bomb on, though? Turrets, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, there's our edge of the safety cube. Mm hmm, I think I see what the plan is. That works. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. 
Hey, this guy survived. How do you survive, mister? Fine, I'll put you in a safe space. So that nobody can ever hurt you again. And let's just grab that from a distance, because I'm impatient. We can plonk it here. Which allows us to exit. Oh, I just noticed this is portable. Didn't even- didn't even occur to me. Right, and now we can get out of here. Yes, and we can put the edge of the safety cube where it belongs. Not sure about the bomb, though. Can we put it on the button? I think it would just explode, right? And this door won't stay open as soon as it gets deactivated, right? Maybe it's permanent. Maybe it is permanent. So let's line this up. That should work. Now we go all the way over here. And plonk a portal there. Eh. Close enough. And go all the way back over here. Plonk a portal there. Close enough. And then theoretically... Yes! Mmm, yes. Uh, huh. Missing something? Is there something else I can do? Because I'm pretty sure this bomb... Pretty sure this bomb will still explode if you put it on a button. But... I haven't tried. I can save here so that I can reload, if need be. Yeah, I guess let's just find out. Maybe putting it on a button cancels the countdown? Also, what happens if you let go of it by other means? Like, yeah, okay, so that's good to know. I haven't even tested if we can get fizzled. I am curious in that. Let's try it from behind glass, shall we? Okay, so it can be fizzled without exploding. Good to know. Now, big question can we put it on the button without the countdown timer counting down? I don't think I have enough time to rush. Nope. And I'm not gonna rush that, that's... yeah. That would technically work. Hmm... There's not a way for me to have the cube on here aimed at there, because there's no- there's no portal surfaces nearby... ...where that would work. I'm am I missing something? Nothing else in there. Turrets don't weigh down buttons. Do I really have to... do this? I don't think I have enough time. I do if I put the cube inside there instead. So let's try that. We put the cube in here. Ah, uh, that's a terrible portal placement, let me fix that. There we go. Theoretically should work. Actually, let's move it further away, just so that I have some space to get into the portal. Save. And then we can take this guy. Hold on, what did I just see? Ha! <laughs> yeah, the layering doesn't work quite properly as it's transitioning through portal. That's fine. And then, what we gotta do is we gotta plonk it here, quickly run over here, fix this portal, and then we gotta run in here before it explodes. Ha <laughs> ha! Close.
suppose I could set it down here, pick it back up. Perhaps. That's my next attempt. But it seems to be working, at the very least. Get me in here. Yes! Excellent. And these are the ones that clear the past portals, I believe. These are the magic fizzlers. There's a hole in there! Why is there a hole in there? And in here. Strange. Whee! I've got stairs on it, that's fine. And that's bugging out, but I can easily fix it. There we go, now it's not bugging out anymore. It's supposed to have a particle effect game. Silly valve. And <laughs> this sound effect keeps playing. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and save while we're at it. So this turns on a laser. It opens a door. And it changes a flip panel. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. Oops. Let's, let's see what's behind the door. So that laser does... Oh, and needs need for the stairs. Okay. Hello! How are you today, sir? Quite unwell, would you say? Um, There's turrets there, right? Are you saying what I think you're saying? I guess I could try it. Let me just double check, real quick. Yeah, that seems to be what I have to do. Alright. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Not as close as I would like, but I suppose that works. Hey, did get all of them. Didn't get to this guy in time. Alright, that's fine. What does this do? Seems to be permanent. Alright. It goes... ...to that. So, we're almost done, we just need an edge of safety cube, it seems. That is an edge of safety cube. How do we activate that? And there's the exit that we saw earlier. These explosives have very limited uses, but I think I like them better as a timed element than for blowing up turrets. Stra as strange as it is, I normally hate timed puzzles, but I think these are better used in timed puzzles than with turrets. Just cause- just cause I hate turrets even more than timed puzzles, really. Uh, Angela's safety cube is spawned by a button up there. How do we activate that, though? I don't have a laser cube right now. Where do we get a laser- Does that work as a laser cube? That's a good question. I suppose we could easily find out, right? We have to do it like that. And... There, that'll work, I suppose. Save, and continue. Misjudged the jump. Well, what do you know? It does work as a laser cube. Right. Set it and run.
Excellent. Alright, so. Now we just need to do this. Don't stand in the stairs, don't wanna get trapped. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes, well I do believe. I'm not sure what to do next. What's this- what is all this then? Square? Square where? Square there? Square Y? Oh, this is off now. Completely... didn't even notice it. What was that again? How long has this been off and I just never noticed? <laughs> oh no, the ant line goes to the... door, but also this? When did... What? I'm... I'm confused, okay? <laughs> I thought it was just the door. When did this change? Uh, I'm going- I can only assume that that must be breakable glass of some sort. Because otherwise I don't know how to proceed. Indeed it is! And I positioned it appropriately. Wow, the- the edges still stay. That's interesting. Alright, let's- let's push this guy out of the way for the time being. There we go. That seems fine to me. So now we can portal into there. Maybe we can use the Edgeless Safety Cube to do it. That would be- that would be my guess. It works! Excellent! Although the button seemed to take a very long time to press down. But anyway, let's go ahead and... try it out. Excuse me! Sir, I do believe that you aim assisted that in a like, rather inconvenient manner. Whoa! What? Uh... Interesting. Why did that change? Is there an optional quest? Why did that change? I made it up there first try. What the? Why did I take damage? What the? Uh, hmm, yes, I do believe this is not working quite as it's supposed to. Why is that making me take damage? I do not know, but all I know is I've solved the puzzle, so, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!